Hey guys, what's up? I'm Bamu! And today, we're back with some more. The Stanley Parable. Last time, we did the phone ending where we unplugged that phone. But this time, we're going to escape. Yeah, that's right. You heard me right. We're going to go to the escape. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing. But, yeah. We're going to escape in this episode. Just because. Why not? We can. I don't know what the spy language is. But I like it. Do you guys like it? Click this guy. This yeah. Is yeah. If you want to see the full intro, it's, it's in the first video. But, anyway. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Maybe. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Mm, well, it's too bad their co-workers, you know. My co-workers can't, you know, want to turn off their, you know, monitors. Straight up. Respect to those people who did. Respect to those people who did. Straight up. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yes. To the left, to the left. Let's go play skits. To the meeting room. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe. A broom closet. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Coming You're right. to the staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Hmm. Okay. Well, the downstairs, I'll save that for a later episode. I'll probably do that with another ending as well, because there's actually a really short ending. Truth be told. And it's kind of, you know, the same thing. But was there? Like, couldn't you like open this door? And like the elevator was ah oh, whatever. It's fine. Hmm. Okay. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two, Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story <laughs> as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy. So oh. he relaxed for a few moments with some calming New Age music I'm playing the piano. I'm I'm playing the music. I don't know how a piano would ever make this noise, but feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever, man. Whatever, man. Freaking going down the elevator. This. Yeah, whatever. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. The elevator is break? I've never noticed that. Can you not? Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Wrong. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. What? 
It's fine. It's it's fine. It's the door fine. behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Never. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Yes. The door is still open. Uh, okay. Okay. It works for me. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Is it not? Second portal. Oh. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, it reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Uh, it's, uh... Picture. Uh, uh, yeah. Trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. I'm out! Death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. So he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Farewell, Stanley. Farewell, Stanley. No! No! Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Hmm. Oh. Ooh. And mm. yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? I don't, ooh, I don't know. When every path you can walk mm. has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Hmm, I think three? Three. I like three the most. Or two. Two, two, two. I like two better. Let's explore a little bit. This is like a museum. The two open doors. Very first design. Hmm. Flying cabinet. Even in here, oh, hmm, turn off your monitors. If no one's using the monitors, Brr! even I forget to turn off my mon. Oh, I can't even talk. I can't even turn off my monitor. You <laughs> turn back on. <laughs> Lovely. Boss's office. Strange from development from the boss's office. Wow, look at that one. That one has nothing in it. So this was the final design. What about the one from the uh, unplugging the phone ending? Hmm. That one. What was this? Office clock? Okay. This is interesting stuff. Employee lounge. A very early per. Oh yeah, I remember this. Whenever the first, whenever the game like first came out, it was just like an open door. It wasn't like a thing where it just said escape and then a door was always open. Narration outtakes. Kevin Brighting. Hmm. These are clips from my early takes. They were not used in the final game. When Stanley came to the fifth, he traveled upwards to power vaults at the top of the facility to end this injustice. Huh.
Jeez, okay. Huh. This is... Huh. Credits. Interesting. The office. Maintenance room. A very early... Oh, and the maintenance room had nothing? Yeah. Copy machine. Am I going... Hmm. War zone? Early in development. We designed an anywhere. Oh, would be fighting aliens? Huh. The action game became sentient and would wage war against the narrator. <laughs> oh. Man, I wonder what that ending would have been like. Probably couldn't do much because, you know, you're Stanley. You can't even jump. How would you, how'd you pass training? <laughs> we realized shortly after building it that it was far too jokey and on-the-nose tone for this game. Yeah. Plus, some people interpret it as making fun of people who... Who likes shooters? Which is not our intention. Oh. Whoa! Alien base, awesome. <laughs> I would have loved to see this kind of ending, honestly. Narrator emails. After the second trailer, we sent out questions for, to email the narrator for questions. Oh, okay. We initially planned. Here are the second. Well, the Stanley Parable have infinite quests. How many endings? If the Stanley Parable is really gonna let, let me show. Oh, fine, I didn't want to. Huh. Sincerely, Art. <laughs> yeah. If you if you want to pause the video and read these, are you are you gay? <laughs> From Dink Dunk. That's a very, very good email. Dead strong bad. How do you type with boxing gloves on? You really can't. <laughs> uh, whatever. Alright. That's fine. The office. The lounge. Oh, wow. This is all the lounge was. I realize now that the cargo lift. The second version of the uh, game, the cargo. That's the cargo. Wow. I don't remember ever. Wow, seeing that. Yeah, I was gonna say like I should have saved this for like the last episode or something. It doesn't matter. It's cool to learn this stuff anyway, regardless of what uh, what episode I put out. The cargo lift was always intended to offer choice of staying on or jumping on a different path. However, don't <laughs> fall to their death. Yes. And thus they did. Zending lovers. Can I pull these down? Guess not. Zending. It's like something out of Portal. What in the world? However, Portal is in this game, so... The escape menu for a long time. The end ending that only ended when the player restarted the escape menu. Huh. Oh. Oh, so, hmm. You would just stay there, and it's like, well, uh, what else do I do? Learn four major tree treelers. <laughs> uh, English. Huh. Neat. Wait, what if... Oh, well, those are trailers. I... Yeah. <sighs> Ooh. Modern room elevator. Huh. Freedom ending. Oh, that's what it's called. The free man ending. Like, the good ending or whatever. This is the free man ending as it existed in the beta. That's very plain looking. In it? Countdown desk. One of the desks from an early version was the version of the countdown ending. That's an ending we have yet to do! So that's... no. 
Ooh. Game design mock-up. This level, this is level that William, the level designer, sent Davy, the writer, as a kind of audition piece. The strength of this level got William hired to design the full game. Wow. Hmm. Not much of this environment has changed. The basic layout of the mock-up is still in the game. This looks like something from like the uh, from the last ending we did, the uh, plug the phone, where it's like it gets all glitched out due to narrative contradiction. But you know, are these like different? <laughs> Stanley's office, from right to left, from well, not right from left, but left to right. Yeah. November two thousand eleven, March twenty twelve, and February twenty thirteen. Wow. So this was Stanley's office first. Then second, where he had two monitors. And then... Huh. This. Nice. In this ending, you learn so much about the game. And it's like, well... A lot a lot of effort. It's, and this is just like a... I wouldn't, well, I wouldn't say a super basic game, but it's like... You know... <laughs> it's a game very simple. And... Yet, so much was put into it, which is like, whoa. A game that doesn't have any, like, where you can't, like, jump around, or, like, you can only, you, the only thing you can do is walk and make choices. A lot of thought was put into this game, which is just, a, the, the, this game is just downright amazing. <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. On. Off. Oh. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long oh. as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time... What? Uh... I think Stanley died. Um. Okay, so I can still hit escape. Um. Do I? <laughs> Do I? Is Stanley just dead? I guess that's what I have to do. <laughs> okay. Considering you know, Stanley's dead, but that's fine. <laughs> Stanley can be dead, but not now. Considering you know, I started the game again. But that's besides the point. That's besides the point. Ah, <sighs> the escape ending. What a great ending, eh? Honestly. Yeah, this seems like an ending that I would save for like the end, but eh. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing to see how much is put into the game, like all these little like uh, progressions here and there, showing how the game was made and whatnot. It, this game, amazing, it really is, and I've yet to complete it. Well, I, I I've already completed it, but uh, I haven't put it on the, on the channel yet. But that's besides the point. <laughs> uh, this ending though, uh, it's kind of like um. Kind of like Undertale, in a sense, where the only way you can be Undertale is not playing because you're actually the bad guy. You are the bad guy. The only way to win is to get the good ending and just quit the game forever. That's the only way you can truly win. <laughs> but who's going to do that right? We bought the game. We spent our money on it. We can do whatever we want because we're the consumer. <laughs> but yeah, oh, honestly though, great, great game.
this is this is fun. I like this game. Little fun touches here and there, but in any case, thank you all very much for watching this episode of the Stanley Parable. If you did enjoy, it, please leave a like, maybe even a favorite if you're feeling generous, and please subscribe for more the Stanley Parable. Um, Skater Baba. Peace. Peace.